Now let's head to Tanzan Tanzania, where, the pre where President John Magufuli laid the foundation a stone for a 300-kilometer railway that will link two of the country's major hubs. Now he hopes it's the start of a project that will see all of Tanzania's cities linked by rail, with a goal even to build a network spreading across East Africa and beyond. Well, Dan Ashby reports. They say that every journey starts with a first step. Well, today, a $1.2 billion cross-country railway project started with a foundation stone here in Tanzania. They're building a railway from this, the commercial capital, Dar es Salaam, to the city of Morogoro and eventually beyond. It will start with 300 kilometers of railway, and the president says these trains could have significance for the whole of the country. <laughs> It will carry a load bigger than any of our trains previously, but it will go at 160 kilometers per hour. So it will be possible to stay and sleep in Moragora, but work in Dar es Salaam. The government of Tanzania is relocating to the city of Dodoma, and this railway could be a vital link between there and this, the commercial capital, Dar es Salaam. It also could be a dream for customers, many of whom currently experience journeys lasting days just to get to the west side of Tanzania. But most significantly, perhaps, it could be a boost to the economy. Uh, Dar es Salaam boasts one of East Africa's biggest ports, and this railway could link that port to countries like South Sudan, Burundi and Democratic Republic of Congo and help Tanzania become a logistics hub across Africa. Now, it should be said, of course, East Africa does have a checkered history when it comes to railway projects, not least here in Tanzania, where the Tazara Railway has faced years of decline and is in need of a major overhaul. But I think if the government can make a success of this project, it could bring world-class commuter trains to Tanzania for the first time in decades. Dan Ashby, CGTN, in Tanzania.